Superstore is back for season five. I've officially run out of fingers on my hand, so I'm glad I kept them. Um, and this season, of course, we, we start off like very quickly after where we left off, which was the raid on the store and Mateo being carted off and uh, everyone worried and concerned about that. At the end of season four, there was a big uh, uh, raid and uh, Mateo tried to get away, but he didn't. He got nabbed, taken away by ice. And now at the beginning of season five, well, uh, we're all trying to figure out what can we do for him now. Uh, and for Glenn, well, Glenn's kind of like, you know, just happy to be a guy uh, working. But when it comes to, like, giving testimonials uh, for Mateo, he can't really think of anything great to say. So he might have to lie, and that's a problem for him. Well, it was spectacular because, of course, uh, uh, Dina is up in the control room trying to basically play a game of Pac-Man, you know, and get get everybody away from the people who are chasing. And she almost pulls it off, but then doesn't quite. Yes, I hope we see a lot of our new cast member, Coleco, because she's hilariously funny. And she's got a big event hanging, which is that Jerry finally popped the question. So... Somewhere down the line, I hope, I haven't seen it yet, but somewhere down the line, I think there's going to be a, uh, a, a wedding, which I'm going to guess might go off the rails. Well, it picks up literally hours after the end of season four. And yes, there is a, a, a new robot in the store that kind of, you know, uh, becomes the object of some um, hate because, of course, it represents the future and Cloud Niners don't like the future. Follow me to the writer's room, and we'll find out. Maybe they'll tell us. Maybe they'll tell you. They don't, they don't tell me a, a, a lot. But, I mean, I think, I think the, the, the story is kind of like going off madly in a, in a bunch of really interesting uh, directions. You've got basically Amy trying to uh, pull a union together without the bosses finding out because she's gone pro-union. And, you know, we got the wedding and uh, we've got, you know, the ongoing feud between Dina and Garrett. And you've got Glenn still trying to fit in on the floor. And you've got, you know, uh, Cheyenne missing her pal Mateo. And you've got Mateo trying to find a way back into the family. So there are many, many paths to follow in this comedy. This year, when we all sat down on the, uh, uh, the first read-through, the first day of shooting, it was kind of like, were we just gone a weekend? It felt like it was so instant, the kind of, you know, re of our social fabric and the fun that we have with each other. It was really fast. It was, it was great. <laughs>